Good evening and welcome to the daily video check-in for today, Tuesday, January 12th. This week we, of course, celebrate Shabbat on Friday evening as we do every week. And it's always a special celebra celebration. Shabbat is a, a beautiful day and we're lucky to have such a special holiday each and every week. But we also use the occasion for Shabbat to sometimes point out and highlight other special events other special days that happen in our lives and in our world. And sometimes that might be Hanukkah or a special Shabbat, Shabbat Shuva coming up. We will have Shabbat Shira, the Shabbat of song in just a few weeks. But this Friday, we have really one of the most special in our community, certainly here in New Rochelle and in Temple Israel, which is our annual Martin Luther King commemoration Shabbat. We gather together with the um, inter-religious coalition. They just merged and so I had to remember exactly what their new name is. Uh, but with the inter-religious coalition and with local church groups and combined with the Temple Israel community to, to celebrate uh, Dr. Martin Luther King's life and his legacy, to honor him, to commemorate everything he was able to achieve and to remind us how much more work there is to do uh, as well. And that might be especially true given everything our country is going through right now. But uh, it's always one of my favorite services, and certainly this year and this time of COVID, it will be different than in previous years, but I hope very special nonetheless. You've all heard me talk at length about the power of music. It's certainly one of the reasons that I became a cantor, not just because I love music, but music really as a conduit can, can be so powerful in our lives in so many different ways. We have special songs in Judaism, Maos Tzur for Hanukkah and, um, you know, Kol Nidre on Yom Kippur or maybe Avinu Malkinu that are so powerful and so tied to special days and times of our lives. And Martin Luther King Day is, is no exception. There is such beautiful music that's appropriate that we sing uh, that recognizes the power and enhances the power of that day. And uh, that's probably true no more for any song as, as much as it is for We Shall Overcome. It's a powerful and hopeful message. It's an, it's an old song and actually was originally written uh, in 1901. It's sometimes attributed to Pete Seeger and sometimes you might see three or four or five songwriters listed on one page. But the original version and a little different version than we know it today was um, written by Charles Albert Tinsley, uh, who was a Methodist minister, and he wrote this original version, I'll Overcome Someday, in 1901. Now, that song was then taken up and changed, and Pete Seeger did, in fact, publish it in a volume of, of protest songs that he published uh, in the 40s, and uh, it's been used as a protest song, a song of community, a song of hope, certainly through the civil rights era as well. Uh, Dr. King, in particular, actually quoted the words of this hymn in his final sermon just four days before he was assassinated, saying, Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday. So I look forward to sharing this music with all of you on this Friday as we celebrate and observe our Martin Luther King Shabbat. And uh, I'll give you just a little taste today to to prepare us this week. So I hope to see you all Friday night. Our service is at 7 p.m. You can find out more information on the temple's website. But uh, in the meantime, I'll leave you with just a little taste of We Shall Overcome. Hand in hand, we'll walk hand in hand. 
an hand someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday. Someday, oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday.